This is the Mayano Caster Lite, and it's being advertised as the portable entertaining all-in-one podcast kit. And at first glance, it looks pretty sexy, to be honest. Anything that's got colours on it, and I'm automatically invested. There's plenty of connectivity on the back, which allows to connect up to three mobile devices for streaming, an output for speakers, an input to plug another mobile device to play music, headphones, and a couple of microphones. There's a USB-C port to connect it to a PC, and this will work just like any sound card. The port also allows it to charge it up, as this can run off its internal battery for up to eight hours. The two volume controls at the top allow you to increase or decrease the mic and music levels, as well as changing the lows, mids, and highs of the microphone and the recording volume. Echo can be added, and monitoring of your audio is possible. It comes with eight default sound effects, which cannot be changed, but there is space on the bottom where you can add four of your own. We have options on the right that we can enable and disable. Both the effect and pitch have four different options and the colour around the outside of the button will let you know which one you're using. If you're finding the display lights are too bright for you, you can turn these down with a button on the back and there are six different brightness settings. The unit itself measures in at approximately 24 centimetres across, 14 centimetres from top to bottom and two and a half centimetres high. You don't get just the audio mixer in the kit, you also get an XLR microphone, which to be honest feels very cheaply made and it's extremely light. It is a condenser microphone, which means you will need to speak into the front to get the best sound, and the front is where the Mayano logo is. It also comes with its own filter. It also comes with the tripod, and once again, this is very lightweight and cheaply made. The microphone can be removed from the tripod if required. We get a number of cables in the kit. There's an XLR to 3.5mm, which is to connect the microphone up to the mix two TRRS cables to hook up mobile phones, a USB-C mobile device adapter which plugs into the mixer when you're using a smartphone or tablet and this is to prevent power draw from your mobile device. There's also a USB-A to USB-C cable and this is to either charge up the mixer or plug it into a PC. We now have it all set up and this is the kind of audio you can expect from this microphone. We currently have our microphone dial turned right up towards the top and we're probably around four inches away from the front. We do have our dolls on the top where we can mess about with the lows, mediums and highs. We're currently in the center with those. If we turn them all down, you should be able to hear a difference in the microphone. If we turn them all the way up, then you should be able to hear a difference again. Now I am currently monitoring this audio using my earphones. I can hear quite a lot of hissing going on when we've turned the EQ settings up. Not sure if you're receiving that, but we'll knock them back down to halfway. And that seems to have eliminated a lot of that noise. We have the recording button on the top right as well. We have this set to max whenever we record. We found if we turn that down, then the recording doesn't come through very loudly. We have our eight effects on the front as well. This is what they sound like. Right, we've got the applause sound effect. Gunshot. Oh, that was it. I was expecting a lot more than that. We have the laughter. <laughs> we have booing. We got awkward. We have slapping. And we have cheering. At the bottom, you can add four of your own in there if you wish. If you press any of these buttons and there is nothing saved on there, you will hear a beep through your audio monitoring. If you want to record a sound effect, you need to hold the button down and it will begin to flash. When that's flashing, it means it's recording. So let's give it a test. Welcome to the Andy Triple H DX YouTube channel. There we are. It sounds very quiet though, so you may want to get extremely close to the microphone when you record any kind of sound effect. If you want to delete that sound effect, hold the same button down for, I think it's around two seconds. Blue light comes on, let go. And that's just beeping again now, so that has been deleted. On the right hand side, we have the effects. So currently we're on the red. 
if we press the button now this is the pop effect this is the MC effect this is the original effect this is the pro effect now I can't hear much in the way of difference between those but maybe you can we have our pitch settings so if we press this this is now the female voice and to be honest I'm probably gonna keep using this because I sound like a very sexy female a very sexy bald female like a young Sinead O'Connor this is the male voice this should give me a much deeper voice and to be honest I prefer this over my original voice so in future YouTube videos this is probably what I'm going to sound like yeah so this is the baby voice once again this sounds pretty good as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I quite like that one. And this is the robot voice. This is what I sound like when I am a robot. I don't know when people would actually use this effect, but it's there anyway. And to go back to your normal voice, you will press the effect button. And this is back to my normal voice, unfortunately. We have the denoise setting as well. If we enable that, it's just said noise cancelling on. And to be honest, the hissing in my ear has disappeared so it seems to do a half decent job we have the music only which basically means that if you are playing a song through this it will do its best to eliminate the vocals from the song now this has got bluetooth built in and we have hooked up our mobile phone to it so if we play a song through now right so the song is playing we can turn the volume up and down with this dial we won't put it too high though so we've got singing there and if we press music only We'll disable it. So it does a decent job. I have tried it with some more well-known songs and it doesn't seem to get rid of the vocals. So it depends totally on the song. It'll work well for some and not for others. We also have the side chain, which basically means if we turn the music back up. Now, as I'm speaking, there's no difference in the volume levels between the music and my voice. So if we enable the side chain, what this does is whenever I speak now, it will automatically lower the volume of the music, which is a very useful feature. I do want to point out as well with these sliders where we can turn the music up and down. It seems to be a massive jump from complete silence to listening to the music. I'll show you what I mean. So now we're in silence. And the music comes straight in there so it's not like a gradual fade in with the music once the music's kicked in and it's going now that is gradual when we turn that up and down but it's like we've got this dead space in this bottom corner where it's either on or off not like the gradual bringing in of the music so as soon as we get to around there and then we try and turn it down it just completely disappears rather than fading out now give me one sec because I've got no idea what loopback is so I'm going to quickly read the instruction manual and let you know. Okay we are back with the user manual and I can see from here it says you can stream to computer and smartphone at the same time. Please activate loopback mode during call in so by the sounds of it if you want to stream to multiple things like mobile phones, tablets, laptops then you will need loopback enabled. If you disable the loopback, they should just be able to hear you through the microphone. If you have a loopback enabled, and for example, you got something like a YouTube video playing on your PC, then they will be able to hear that. We also have echo, so if I continue speaking and we turn the echo up, it basically sounds like we're in a haunted mansion somewhere. Another feature we have is electron, which if we enable that, that is supposed to be auto-tune. So I believe we are in the key of A, and uh, this is what I sound like with auto-tune. Always believe in your soul. You got the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe in you are gold. Yeah, I'm kind of showing my age there. You do have your three connections on the back for mobile phones and tablets. So if you're someone who likes to go live on something like Instagram or Twitter, then you can do that simultaneously on all three devices. Here's this microphone working. Hopefully it is. And we'll test some sound effects out now. 
If you use a 3.5mm socket that's got output underneath it, this would allow you to connect external speakers. We've seen a number of questions online about the Mayano caster. Let's see if we can answer a few of those questions now for you. Can I use a different microphone? Yes, you can. Let's move this out of the way. And we are now using our fine, fine K6 microphone. Providing your microphone connects through the three and a half mil jack on the back and it doesn't require phantom power, then it should work. Can I add music to one of the buttons at the bottom? Yes, you can. Here's an example right now. Is there a time limit on one of the buttons at the bottom? Once again, yes there is. And the time limit is 23 seconds. Can I connect an electric guitar? You can connect a guitar to this, but don't expect the sound to be very loud. Not with our experience anyway, it was very quiet. Can I record using two microphones? Yes you can. This is us talking into the microphone that came with the kit. And this is us talking into our fine fine K6 microphone. Is the audio saved onto separate tracks? We're pretty sure that it isn't. We are recording our audio using Audacity and if we use either of the microphones, everything seems to be stuck on one track. Has this review been useful for you? Don't forget to give it a like and a subscribe to the channel as well. Don't forget that you can become a channel member where you get early access to our future videos. And thank you once again to our current channel members. You guys are absolute legends. So have a good one all and we will see you in the next one.